And welcome back to Chrono Cross. I might have said trigger it in the last step. I don't know. Anyway, this is very much Chrono Cross. Okay. And already explored there. So actually, I think I have checked out everywhere I was. Oh, I know what I overlooked. What I was remembering. First, let's see. Let's check out this barrel. Okay. <laughs> okay. That was mildly weird. We are we are the Barrel Whisperer. Okay, that dog is a very, very happy puppy. I love just how well she's bounding after us. I do wonder... Wouldn't her little pet dragon be shedding scales normally? Is there a problem about using scales from your own? Anyway! When reviewing the last video, I did realize that I'm clearing text boxes fairly fast. I do tend to read pretty quickly, but everyone might not, so I will try to let them last a little longer. Yeah. Yeah, that happens. Are those bats flying around the cat on the left, by the way? Yeah. Okay, so ten years ago he decided to become a fisherman. Okay. Hey. Cool. You've been doing good the last decade, man. Yeah, as Terry Pratchett once put it, sometimes the rock gets to know what would happen if it rolled the other way. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. How life would have been different. I hear you. Sorry, not very funny. But it's philosophical. Okay. And this is a key item. So we're running around with a uh, shark tooth necklace. All right, and that's pretty much the what all I had forgotten about. So let's go uh, talk to Lena. I'm sure there's plenty of bits here and there that I am overlooking. But on the whole. I've been keeping my girlfriend away. Wait a minute. Yeah, wait, are you wearing... Okay, I couldn't tell if he was wearing shoes. That's a lot of clothing there. It's going to drag you down to the bottom. Oh, she, <laughs> even she knows we're a lazy ass. Oh, so we are collecting Komodo scales. Uh-huh. Right, right. Right. Oh, yes, do that. Yep, yep. Yeah. I, I think you're like, what, 16? And I don't marry, at least I don't think you are. Yes, necklaces are important. I want you to go out and face likely death for jewelry. Hmm. Then again, with how regularly we smack stuff around, and that he's got a weapon, it's, I guess maybe that's just part of his regular life. I mean, 
Maybe that's why they have all those weapons sitting around. People are just so into smacking the heck out of everything. It's not unusual. I, I don't know. Hey, sleepy dude, what you got? Yep, I did. Yeah, sure, I love the city. Oh, okay. It, it's kind of heavy. Yeah, 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 yeah. But dude, you're freaking me out. Watching Poshal move, I can't help but think that she is a bizarre attempt to crossbreed a dog with a bunny. Well, speaking of Poshal, we better go in. Not back out of our menus here. Go into the elements. We're going to allocate them all real quick. I'm just going to remove everything he's got. Now, Cure is a level 1. We'll go ahead and put Cure. is, I believe, normally... No, no, no. Alright, we're going to go ahead and give Potion some uplifts, because I think Potion is an innate yellow, so it does a little better with yellow. And I purposely left that one gap. Because we're about to buy something. I mentioned that uh, the, they're all level ones, but they can go up for minus seven. So we have fireball plus one and fire ray plus two. All right, and let's do a quick check of the equipment you're selling. We'll actually start on the plot. We don't buy what we create. All right. Well, it's saying that for a bone glove. Hmm. Interesting. We need to have items and pay a fee to have them craft stuff for us. A little different than some, but okay. Now, you will find when you are out here fighting stuff that they will regularly be dropping. Uh, useful things like that now. Let's see, over here are the Hydras. That's a pretty dangerous place right now. We can enter this waterfall. Just to, you know, explore. down right. Are we even supposed to be here? Huh. 
Uh, this looks darn cool, but am I not looking at it right now? I'm honestly, I don't recall if we're supposed to do anything in here right now. Okay. Oh, sorry about that. What's in Fossil Valley? Ah, well, they don't want us in there. I, I'm not gonna deal with armed guards. Cape Howl. Now, Cape Howl, there's a couple of things you can grab early on. You want to avoid those water bursts. Now, at this one, at certain points in the game, you do get level up stars. And I guess there's a certain number of minor boosts you can get um, from beating things before in between stars. Um, you get a star if you didn't get the max number of boosts. Too bad. I really don't know. Fully understand how that works. Alright. Show me your... Alright. Nice! Okay. That looks cool. Well, let's see what Uplift does. Better look awesome. Ooh, yeah. Didn't do a lot of damage. Probably having to do with the element type. Oh, uh, let me think. Blue and red are against each other. Yeah, nice lens flare. Yeah, Surge got HP plus one as did Koshul. Those are minor boosts. So you generally actually don't want to avoid combat too much. So you can, until you're done getting minor boosts before the next star. And we actually will start messing around with the area with our uh, little scales before this episode ends. But that should mainly be the next one. Okay. Good. Great. That's just... I, I love that though, ripping off pieces of the actual ground and slamming into them. Alright, now that little yin-yang symbol, as opposed to how they've normally been looking, the uh, attacks and such, that means it's a technique. It means it's something... It's not equipable or unequipable. Each of your most of your characters uh, can get up to three of these uh, techniques that are theirs. And there's a loan. So it's not just that everyone is customizable with anything. Certain people have, you know, different element colors as well as certain abilities that no one else is getting. I believe I'd commented about that uh, being able to heal after every battle. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and hurry on out of here. Now, right down here is Blizzard Rock North. On the other side of it, Blizzard Rock South, leads to that little island at the bottom, which is the uh, beach we're supposed to meet Lena at. So, we'll get back to this uh, hunt for scales next time.